Hi, everyone. I'm Diane Brady. I'm here with my colleague, Sarah Dorn, who covers national politics. And Sarah, we are already talking about the Senate race for 2024. It feels a bit early, um, but last month after Kirsten Sinema, or late last year, she announced that she was switching from the Democratic Party to become an independent. So this, you know, opened the doors for other Democrats to run for her seat. And Ruben Gallego, who is in the House of Representatives now, he's a four term congressman, announced today, confirmed that he will be entering the race. Um, this is this is a big deal because you know, Cinema's switch in itself was was big news. Her and, and Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia hold outsized power in the Senate um, it, as moderates. They are able to thwart, you know, Democrat backed legislation and priorities just with their two votes alone, considering that Democrats control the Senate by what well, well, last year it was, you know, split evenly 50 50. Um, now it is 51 to 49 in, in Democratic control. But the Senate map, to my point, the Senate map in 2024 really threatens that slim majority. And um, Cinema's seat particularly is um, very vulnerable because if two Democrats, you know, if a Democrat runs, Cinema runs, and a Republican runs in the general, then the vote, the Democratic vote could be split between Kirsten Cinema and a Democratic candidate, you know, allowing a Republican presumably to, to win. Right. One thing that I'm curious about is when one switches to be an independent, it almost seems like you're tossing away your chances. Is that too harsh an assessment? I, I wouldn't say that in in this case, particularly because, you know, she's she's an incumbent and I, I think it is a little bit harder for um, newly elected independents to to win elections. Um, but she she's an incumbent. Arizonans know her. So this isn't really going to change their view of her unless they are, you know, very dedicated and loyal Democrats. Um She's she's still caucusing with Democrats, so she, you know you can expect um, her to continue voting with them, except for you know in, in the few circumstances we saw last year where where her and Mansion sort of defected from the party and um, killed key Democratic pieces of legislation priorities. We saw it with a, a voting access legislation um, and. Uh, President Joe Biden's Build Back Better, you know, Social Security package. They they were the the two votes that really prevented Democrats from getting those over the line. Um, but but what's interesting about the Senate map in 2024 is that um, there there are 34 seats up for election, and 23 of those are in states held by Democrats. Um, and, and three of them are in states won by former President Donald Trump in 2020. Compared to Republicans, they are not all all of the um, 10 races where they are on the ballot in 2024 are in states that Trump won. So Democrats, you know, are really at risk of losing their majority in 2024.